Dear students, today we will further discuss about machine independence. So although we have achieved the machine independence largely that we have written the compilers, interpreters, which try to convert the instructions written in the high level languages into the machine language. And we have program written for one machine was theoretically used by another machine simply by applying the appropriate compiler. So you need to compile that code into the into for that particular machine where you want to execute. However, the goal of the machine independence was achieved or not, let's little bit more dig into it. So the different ways in which machine handle the IO instructions. So for example, you have a printer installed on one machine and you have another printer installed on another machine. So there might be a difference of how that printer will be accessed by the instructions being executed on machine A and the instructions being executed at the machine B. So this means that you need small modifications on this particular program if you want to execute the program compiled for machine A which is using IO instructions for a program that is compiled on machine B. However, this issue was handled somehow by the standardization. So American National Standard Institute and International Standard Organization build standard and have adopted and published standards for many popular languages that they should handle IO instruction in this, this, this way. However, there are still some things, for example, the language extensions. So what are the language extensions? There are some extended parts of the compilers are extended instructions which are not part of the original compilers. So compiler designers provide features called the language extensions and that are not part of the standard language and if a programmer is using those language extensions, those features which are not part of the normal, real, actual compiler, this means that if that particular a feature is not available in another machine or that language extension is not available on another machine, this means that we are not achieving the real sense of machine independence. So still, we should not say that these are the hurdles. Actually, the main thing which we have achieved already is that we are able to write program in a language which is familiar to the humans and that language is being translated on different machines using different compilers. So the issues which we have highlighted in today's module about language extensions and about IO devices and IO handling are not of much impact that we are going to say that we have not achieved the machine independence. So we still say that we have achieved machine independence on a very large scale and we should further think that such kind of IO uh, instructions and language extensions that how we, sh we can cope with such an issue that the machine independence can be achieved on a full goal. So there are some other efforts which we will be discussing in some of the modules where such problems have been focused and solve to some extent.